We were just doing a bit of shopping. <laughs> but soon we're going to celebrate our dad receiving the Superintendent General Award. I was confused why they did it like this, but I think it's because you're supposed to check up on all the nameless NPCs that have had their own little stories throughout the main game. I mean, that's fair, but on the other hand, I'm not going to talk to every NPC because that's boring. <laughs> I think, personally. That's unbelievable. Come on, Makoto. You don't need to raise your voice over it. Remember Dad telling you earlier to just act like it's a no big deal? Why did I say that sentence like that? I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. I'm just so thrilled for him. It's like he's finally getting the recognition that he deserves. You're correct. Well, I do feel the same way. So, what groceries do we need to pick up before we head home? I wonder what Dad would like me to cook. I made eggplant miso soup for your birthday. You had fried mackerel on yours, right? I can still remember how you pestered Dad about it until he cooked it for you. Hey! Sis, I didn't pester him. He asked me what I wanted to eat for my birthday. Two of them are beaming with joy. I am going to ruin your lives. It seems this reality is the one that Makoto wished for. That reminds, that reminds me, Akira, what brings you out here? Sorry to keep you like this, by the way. Yeah, it's alright, don't worry. I'm actually on my way to see Haru, but Chad has informed me that I'm going to have to do that on another day. Are you sure? Well, that's good. You seem very happy. Do you think? Yes, you think so? You and Sai getting along? Yes, just as well as always. Even when she's busy at work, she always has my back. I couldn't thank her enough for all the... No, but... Wait. Something's wrong. The only NPC in this game is Mishima. Michael, that's cold. How, how, Michael, how on earth are you gonna be like, how dare you say Kasumi still instead of calling her Samir? And then you're just like, oh, Mishima, he's just a pro, he's just an NPC, he's worthless. Get, get out of here. Mom died, so dad raised us alone. And sis, I'll be waiting for you. Huh? Wait, what are you saying? Ah, oh, dude, we got her. She activated owl mode. We're in this. But I'll be okay. I finally found a place where I belong. Uh. I just... Makoto, what's wrong? Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's nothing. Sorry, Akira. We have more shopping to do. I'll see you later. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. We'll chat again soon. Seems all you can do now is wait. Guess I should head home. Yeah, I just used up, like, I don't know, 15 minutes of my day, so that's basically all I can manage. I'm gonna have to go to bed now. The shrine on New Year's? But I don't have any wishes. Isn't my dog cute with a kimono and a hakama? Hey, didn't your dog... Oh, never mind. No, her dog died! Okay, wait a minute. Maybe Maruki had a point. My New Year's money? I'm gonna use it on Mommy, of course. I need my teacher to look over my work soon. Makoto seemed happy being able to spend time with both her father and sister. But is this truly how things should be? I should check up on the... Okay, yeah, I get it. Same flavor text. To think they spend so much time and effort making happy endings for all the NPCs that no one cares about. I mean, they... The people who did this design video games for a living, right? Like, I understand there are definitely some people who would be like, Oh, dude, that's so neat. And it is neat. I'm not saying it's not. But in the same token, my opinion of the game changes literally zero from the NPCs having their own unique dialogue or whatever. There has to be someone I haven't checked up on yet. I should go see them. Yeah, 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 I know. I don't even need to talk to the cat. I just need to, like, go places. Yeah, it's Shibuya this time, I guess. I want to go to Kichi Joji, but I guess I can't go there. Or, more accurate, I don't know how to get to Kichi Joji, because I fast travel, like, out the wazoo in this game. Alright. Uh, this way? At least they still give you the red exclamation mark to be like, hey, stupid, your confidant is this way. Very much appreciate that, because otherwise I would actually probably hate this. In Maruki's perfect world, there is fast travel. Akechi, get over here! We're fixing this! Hmm? Can I, like, wait a minute, can I, like, talk to Broshita? 
the perfect world doesn't have Broshita in it. This is not, nah, dude. I don't, I don't need to. I don't need to see anything else. Make it the ninth right now. Skip everything else. Akechi, I just want to see your Showtime nonstop. Let's let's get this. Let's go to a different area. Oh, finally. Uh, yeah. I can't help but notice that his perfect world is also insanely Japan. Do you see all these tentacles? Who's an Akihabara? Futaba, of course she is. Uh, Ryuji. It doesn't say that Haru is in Kichijoji, but that's what the cat said. But I trust the fast travel map more than I trust the cat. Let's go talk to Futaba next. Do, do, do. Why is Coffee Daddy wearing black? Coffee Daddy makes any outfit look good, but his signature white cap has been distorted? This is not perfection, Maruki. You've missed out on all the finer details. Who cares about bringing back dead loved ones and making it where people didn't have tragedy in their lives? That's irrelevant. You've taken away Coffee Daddy's drip, and that's not okay. Like, there's, I don't see any Akechis standing around. I haven't seen Hifumi yet. Your perfect world is a piece of trash, man. Well there, Futaba. I thought you just came here to buy a video game. But, but, can't you feel it? All the limited editions and the gaming gear. It's the store's fault for being a one-stop shopping emporium for gamers. So, Mom? No, ma'am. Do you think I get supplemental grants with nothing but puppy dog eyes? Motion for additional funding? Denied. <laughs> my case was dismissed. Oh my goodness, she acts the same way her daughter does. It's actually going to kill me. Akira? Oh, hey, look who stumbled into us. I mean, Coffee coffee Daddy still looks great, but he definitely looks better in the white outfit than the black outfit. This is not debatable. Look who stumbled into us. Come on, hurry up and pick something already. You still want to get lunch after this, right? We can take him too now. Oh, what a thoughtful gentleman. Hear that, Futaba? Sojo's going to treat us all to lunch. Hey, don't go putting words in my... Really? Really? Then back to LeBlanc, people. It's curry time. You eat that all the time, though. That's because it's the best. You really can't get enough of that curry, can you, Futaba? I mean, she does have a point. Huh. This is supposed to be the perfect world, but Coffee Daddy didn't even, like, marry Wakaba? He's just, like, the, the cool uncle? I mean, he's still cool, but, like, he's supposed to be Futaba's dad, straight up. I, I reject this reality. Thanks for the glowing review. Three of them are all smiling at each other. Seems this reality is the one that Futaba wished for. Sound good, Akira? I know you know how awesome Sojo's curry is. It's his most cherished dish. Of course, Sojo and Mom work together to improve its flavor, you know. Mm. And... Huh? Isn't this like a beautiful dream? What's that supposed to mean? What are you getting at? Is it a dream? No, but that's a great idea, chat. Forget about taking away Maruki's power. We're going to take it for ourselves, because I clearly, as the perfect dictator, would be so much better at controlling reality than he is. Because he's already made, I've found at least 76 different minor mistakes that could have been fixed if he didn't suck at his job. I'll be waiting for you. Still don't get it. Come on, why won't you just tell me? I won't let those distorted lies deceive me anymore. What was that? You all right? You two are getting a bit weird. Could this be a case of raging hormones? What? Look how serious they both gotten. All right, you were better off dead, Sphinx Lady. I'm okay. Duh, it's nothing. Let's go, Mom. The curry can't wait. The curry's still got stuff to do, I assume. Well, see ya. H hey, Futaba, don't just take off like that. Well, Time we're gonna to head on back. Come by for some grub when you're done with whatever it is you're doing. I really appreciate the offer, Coffee Daddy, but I just had, like, a 16-minute conversation, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to go to bed. I'm really worn out. Work? I have the day off today. I can't be feeling sick when I, got a promotion, when I get a promotion. I don't remember having fancy clothes like this. It's like they're for a night job. Huh? You're not an employee here? Come on, I know you were working here last year. 
Let's take it easy instead of going crazy trying to hit our quota, huh? You going to work? I thought you quit. Futaba seemed happy being able to spend her daily life with both her mother and Sojo, who she loves very much. But this is how it should truly be. Yeah, okay. Same as always. I can't help but notice that I'm talking to the Phantom Thieves every day, but I don't get to talk to any of my other confidants. It seems like maybe it'll come up later and I'm just jumping the gun. But I'm just going to say, I'll be a little perturbed if they were like, oh, look at all these random NPCs that you could chat with to see how their perfect realities are. Oh, but we didn't have time to include perfect realities for your like 12 other confidants that you don't have to talk to. There has to be someone I haven't checked up on yet. Yeah, let's, let's go. Uh, yeah, go to Shibuya, I guess. Maruki only became a god like six days ago. Give him a little bit of time. <laughs> still, yeah, sorry. Did you guys see the perfect reality? I found a lot of flaws. He's like, yeah, we're still ironing out the details. It turns out that becoming an omnipotent being takes a little bit of work. Believe it or not. And then we proceed to stab him in the throat with Akechi's awesome, like, red sword of death. Uh, it said earlier Ryuji was here and now he's not. Oh, well, wait. Well, I guess we're going to go hang out with Haru, boys. Where you at, Haru? Where you at? We got to have a chat. Is your dad here? I bet your dad is here. He is. I knew it. We're going to get you killed again. The amount of pedestrian traffic here is well within our threshold. This would make a fine location for a new store. Yes. I agree. The research says this community is most interested in high quality ingredients in a modern store design. Perhaps this location should focus more on organic produce and a simple but elegant interior. Listen, I'm going to hit you straight up with the truth chat. Hafumi is the best waifu of all time. However, that being said, Haru is the best dressed waifu, period. Like, no one can match her level of fashion. That's just a fact. Perhaps this location should focus more on organic produce and a simple but elegant interior. That's a good idea! If I stab Okuma in the chest right now, do you think Karu will remember? Oh, Akira-kun. I didn't expect to run into you here. What are you up to? With your dead father. I'm helping out my father today. Yeah, the one who died. We're here to inspect a potential site for a new company store. Is this a friend of yours? Yes, he's been a wonderful friend to me. He's an underclassman at my school. Aha, uh -huh. to think you'd have a male friend, Haru. Or are you truly just friends? Wait. Jeez, father, don't jump to conclusions like that. <laughs> Calm down, Haru, I was merely teasing. But still, were such a man to appear in your life, make sure you tell me right away, understood? <laughs> oh, father, is that jealousy I'm detecting? Haru and her father are enjoying each other's company. Seems this reality is the one that Haru wished for. It's been quite some time since I last saw Haru like this. You must truly be a wonderful friend for her. Please keep being as good to her as you have been. After all, my daughter's happiness is my own happiness. Father. Oh, would you care to do something together at Kirukun? We have a bit of free time so we could grab a coffee or something. He's, uh, he's a great father, isn't he? Thank you. Yes, he is. Thank you. How amazing would it be if Akechi just walked up behind Okumura right now and pulled out a gun and shot him straight up? I would actually lose it. It'd be like, all right, Joker, we're running out of time. We gotta, we gotta speed this up. So I'm gonna go kill. I'm gonna go get Futaba's mother next. You, you go get Makoto's dad. <laughs> Although he could be a bit overprotective at times, but he's honest and caring. He really is my ideal father. Has your dream come true? My dream? Oh no, I wouldn't call my life anything so drastic. After all, I've been so busy lately that I can barely handle what's on my plate, so... Um. Wait, I just... I'll be waiting for you. Hmm. Oh, okay. 
What happiness can be found through profit gained by crushing the hearts of others? Excuse me? What? That just now. That was... Haru, what's the matter? Ah, nothing, father. Nothing, really. You must be getting exhausted after all this surveying. Why don't we take a break somewhere? My apologies for cutting this short. I do hope we'll have the chance to speak more in the future. Until next time. Then Joker has to take out Shiho's legs. And while Joker's doing that, Akechi breaks Ryuji's leg. <laughs> Alright, that was really tiring. I'm gonna go get a nap. Take a vacation every year. My family goes with me, of course. Go back home, so you're off to fulfill all your dreams. School? It's really fun. I made some friends, too. Didn't that store go out of business? Uh, I guess not. We don't have great sales, but it's fine for me. Yeah, plotting all these crimes to make my friends suffer really takes a lot out of me. I gotta sleep a lot. Haru seemed happy being able to talk to her father without fear. Yeah, it's not how it should be, though. If Rugi hadn't made mistakes, he wouldn't be an antagonist. All royal content would be moot. I disagree. I mean, it makes sense that he's made mistakes, and that's why they're probably going to be like, no, this can't be. However, I mean, the same thing goes down in Naruto. And the way Naruto... The thing is, is most times when people do something like this... Oh, hey, guys. When this kind of plot trope is taken, where it's like, oh, we make a perfect reality where everyone's happy. In Naruto, they... Uh, they kind of swept it under the rug a little bit by saying, like, well, actually, it doesn't bring you happiness. It turns you into a white Zetsu, which is not really a problem I have with Naruto, but something I don't think was necessary, as all of the Kaguya stuff was unnecessary in Naruto. But uh, the thing is, is even if it does make your perfect reality, it still just comes down, like, the way that I feel like these storylines should go is that uh, if, uh, if you can perfectly control how everything goes, then it's uh, you miss out on... Like, you miss out on bad things, of course, like, you know, Futaba has her mom and all that, but you miss out on all good things as well. Because, I mean, if Futaba's life went perfectly how she wanted it, she never would have met the Phantom Thief, she never would have had her friends and all that. She, uh, she gets her mom, but then, like, loses everything else. Who's to say she would have even, she probably would have, like, known Sodro, but, I mean, in this, in this situation, she does still get to be close to Sodro, but that's, you know, it's possible that she could have missed out on Sodro. So what I, when it comes to the whole, like, what if we make a perfect reality thing, I don't think you need to see cracks or like, oh, it actually isn't that perfect. I think the only thing you need to take into account is that if you have uh, perfect control over everything, then you miss out on the surprises and the way things can change in life entirely. And I think that's how it should be combated. Yeah, free will is another big thing. Another thing is like, I mean, you have to think like, that everyone just reacts perfectly exactly how you always want them to there's like no there's no debate i argue with my friends about anime lists a lot this is a really like michael is here and it made me think of this but like we argue about stuff i would love it if or at least i think i would if uh michael and sly just perfectly agreed with all my opinions but they don't and that leads to discourse and discussion and i find out new things about things i like as a result of us not be of them not perfectly molding to what i want them to be so, like, that's that's the only argument you need against something like this. I don't think that Maruki has to, like, make a mistake, uh, quotation marks, and, like, oh, he didn't make it exactly perfect. There's something that isn't perfect in it. It's just a matter of the fact that, like, if it's a world where you or someone else has full control over everything, then it just... You may not recognize it, but you're basically trapped in, like, a world that has no... There's, like, really no point, and there's no telling on what you missed out on or what on how you could see things differently. And, like, yeah, it's eternal stagnation. That's exactly right. It's, like, endlessly stagnant. Like, what about what about when we get older and we want to have children? Like, you know, assuming, like, you know, Joker, if I was dating Hifumi, it's like, oh, I want to grow old with Hifumi and have children, etc. It's like, my children, like, wouldn't actually be my children. They would just be some fake entity that I made up in my mind. And that's just, like, that's... You can't get, like, the same level of happiness from a bond, an actual bond, with something you can like that. It's basically what I'm trying to get at. It's really hard to describe. Shibuya. This is Shibuya. 
Hello. I'm in Shibuya now. I think all that's left is uh, Yusuke and Ryuji, so one of them today, the other one tomorrow. I will say it's definitely a minor complaint, but there's no reason to not just let me fast travel to where the confidants are. I'm just saying. 